Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to talk about if else in Java. Let's get started. First of all, let's create a project, Java project. Let's call it if else demo. And then go to uh, there and create a class. Let's call it if else class. All right. Before we start if else, we need to understand Boolean concept. Boolean means true or false. Whenever we have any expression, we evaluate that whether it is true or false. For example, one is equal to one true or false. This is true. How about one is equal to five? This is false. Let's try it. How does our Java program interpret this one? System dot out dot print ln. And let's see here, one is equal to one. What will it print? It prints true. One is equal to 10. Of course, not true, right? This is false. Now, whenever we put this thing in conditional form, and if condition, for example, then we can execute some of our statements if condition is true. Let's see what I'm talking about. Let's create two variable, integer x is equal to 10 and integer y is equal to 11. Now we want to check whether, if we check that if, x is equal equal to y, the value of x which is 10 is, is equal to y. If this is so, if it is true, we will want to print that both are equal, okay? Both are equal. So will it print both are equal? Let's see. No, nothing is printed. Why? Because the answer of X and Y is false. So if it is false, if will not allow the program to go inside its body. So this is under the body of if. To make it more precise, we literally explicitly we can create body. Okay, but if we have just one statement, we may not need this. Uh, block with uh, curly braces. Okay, but my practice is always, even if it is one statement, just put these curly braces. So now X is equal to Y, 10 is equal to 11 now, and we can prove it. It's false because it's false if it's not allowing our program to go inside. Okay, we can prove it. I copy this one. Okay, copy and let's put in a simple system dot out dot print ln x is equal to y let's see so it says false this line is printing it's false so when the evaluation result is false it means this if condition is false if it is false you can't go inside okay Right, so I'm going to delete this one. If it is false, what shall we do? We have another thing called else. Else can also have its block. So I say, okay, if it is, if this statement is not being executed, I should show something else. So I say, okay, system, system dot out dot print ln. both are not equal. Now condition is false. We don't see this. In case of that condition is false, we will go to the else block. <laughs> both are not equal. Okay, but what if, if we make it 10 also, both are equal, all right? 
okay so can we make it with double also yes double x double and double this time we say 10.50 and 10.75 are they equal let's see how our program interprets both are not equal so condition is false but when we make it like five zero both are equal now both are equal okay so can we make it with character okay char let's say c1 and it's a whereas another character char c2 let's make it b are they equal a and b now <clears throat> because we changed okay both are not equal how about this now both are equal okay however for the string i will cover that one later on because that needs a little bit more uh, information so okay so this is a very simple program how about if we want to make it a little bit more meaningful program for instance i want to make that uh, like in our grading system if you have uh, greater than equal to 90 points so you should get a grade and uh, if you have greater than um, like greater than equal to 80 you will get what you will get b grade and so on right so let's let's create that kind of program now very simple let's call it double d o u b l -E score okay let's give a by default score 95.0 okay if score is greater than 90 then do what print and you got a grade okay now here is the catch we just use else but we need to see else if but let's see with error first this is not a syntax error it's a logical error if score is greater than equal to 80 then i'm just copy pasting this so that uh, it's faster now what is the uh, it should be b now what's the output what's the correct condition is this condition true score is greater than 90 yes print this one now it will continue to check continue to check is this condition true 95 is greater than 80 this is also correct so how come one person can have two grades if he has 95 he is having a or b both grades so now this is a logical error so we must uh, fix this using this else okay else space if now when you press else if so it will check only one condition whichever whichever comes first from the top okay it never goes from the bottom it always comes from the top so if score is greater than 90 which is true it will print this and then program will exit out it will not go to check the other condition or it will not print the other thing let's see you have a now if score is not greater than equal to 90 for example it's 85 so 85 is greater than equal to 90 false now it will continue to check the second condition is this greater than 80 yes you got b okay can i continue with other one if i copy paste this thing okay it's up to me 
that uh, until what grade I want to go. If it is greater than 70, it's C. If it is greater than or equal to 60, it's D. Okay, good. Okay, fine. And we can say if it is greater than or equal to 550, now what is that? F, let's see, let's see this one especially. Okay, so you got B grade. So let's see 60. So it's greater than or equal to 60. D, How about 50. Okay, it says greater than or equal to 50. How about 49? Nothing. Now it's another logical error. What's going on? What should I put? Shall I keep putting this thing? If it is greater than or equal to 40, it's F. And uh, if it is greater than 30, shall I go to like this until, you know, um, 10 maybe, <laughs> right? So, okay, 10, and let's see if I put 10. What is 10? Of course, F20, F, okay, F. So here, it's, it's okay to have, but it's not, you know, smart coding. Since 50 and less than that, it's D. So why we have all these things, okay? So what? why don't we just remove all this, okay? And we say that if it is greater than or equal to 60 or until 60 is D. 59 is also actually F. So instead of checking those little, little things, we can remove this condition and just put else. So anything that is less than 60, because until 60, we have D. If it is less than 60, it's F. Let's see. F, 30, so I don't write, 30, F, about 59. F about 60. Now we we are actually we fall in this category. Now we got D. So write smart program, guys. Okay. I think I hope you you get this idea. See you in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.